The Insection Book of the Dead The Jericho Stone Udiopsa Chapter 1 1 O the sons of all sons, grandfather of all grandfathers, O prince of the oaks, ruling over the heights of Mataros, 2 You are the sun leading us to the city of balloons, where our hearts can rise to breath again, 3 O the with your golden smile, bow down over the heads of Venus, lead us through the death realms of dwarves, you know all their books. Let us come together, so that we can worship you, O Father of all fathers, for Lead us all to Izu teach us, about the seven smiles of death, let the Ocus monsters, open the lungs. O oh, that they might store the balloons of lungs, in the livers. Let the balloons of the livers rise, to open the lungs, to fill the lungs, and to open the hearts five. O oh, let Osiris, ride the seven smiles of the dead. Let him teach us how to remove letters from stones of graves and sacrophagos. Lead us to the thrones of ashes, where we can smile with the smiles of death, to see the griffin rise, him with the golden smile six. O oh, open solemn, the hearts of the lungs, to spread the wings, into tiger's ripples, in balloon sky seven. Opening of the widow spider, the third heart. Osiris, son of Ova, you know the widow spider lying dormant between the two hearts of the octopus, as the third heart, the golden heart, where the golden nipple rises. O Emilis shot a dot greet Merizanta, our son of hearts, our father of truths. Let him raise the green lights. Bring our ancient ornaments back into the spine nine. Those ornaments we got from our ancestors, while lords of evil took them away. Bring us away from all evil, and show us the righteous paths ten. O oh, Egypt, let it be Egypt, in Izu sweet bell can of, statue of ancient days, our watcher, speak these words to the hills. Let that which is proud fall, and let that which is humble rise eleven. Teach us about the seven moons. Amen. O oh, holy Amen, son of Egypt, father of Locus, raise the orange balloons, and the checked balloons. Teach us how to contract hearts to do your will, O almighty cricket, lying on the heart of Osiris twelve. O you, with the seven arms, come forward, raise us again into the house of Thoth thirteen. Let us not be burnt, when we stand for the throne of almighty Osiris, when his red eyes, are searching our hearts fourteen. Let the soul bird rise, let our souls grasp the lights of ancient times before their times to honor the ancient souls beneath the souls fifteen. Let us not complain, and standing still in the realms of the dead, but let us descend into the bottom of the pit, where we can find the coin of Mary of Magdalene, and her holy Sarsha soul sixteen. Let the Sarsha soul lead us back to the barbarian times to free the birds of paradise, let their souls guide us for the rest of our days. Amen 17. Papyrus of Ruizu. When you come into the holy temple of Amon, touch the blue gold on his head, all you who are dead, in these pastures in front of his house. Let the sheep guide you there 18. His holy books will guide you. Amen. Let Atu, the god of goats, be merciful over you, who passes over the rivers of the dead 19. Drink from its waters to be connected to ancient souls. You will feel a spirit in your heart. It is the bird of Ruizu. Thoth will seal your foreheads by his holy waters 20. We will take care of your soul that the smoke will not lead you astray 21. We will give you the eyes you deserve when you haven't abuse your eyes to mock the spirits of the dead 22. There will come seven judgments on the eye, led by the sword of Thoth. Bless those who will survive. Chapter 2 1 Seven judgments on the eye, by the sword of Thoth. First judgment, you will say these words. I baptize my eye in the holy waters, burning with fire, to see if I, let me see the eyes of death, to adopt the ancient souls of the sacred ant, and gnat. Third judgment, let Ruan you come forward to lay the sword on our eyes eleven. May it be sealed by attention. 
may it be useful and not a power to judge. The heart is a power to judge, while only the heart eye of thought can rise to judge twelve. In him all the judges get their eyes. Let him who is not connected to thought be thrown out into the deepest oceans and darkest places until he finds the eye of thought to do well thirteen. The eye must be sifted like gold seventy times seven until it reaches the eighth day. On the eighth day, the judges stand, allowed to judge fourteen. Lead our eyes into the eighth day, to judge or be judged. Let her decide, and weigh our eyes, to see if it's worthy, for a sword pierced through it. Fourth judgment, let Sarsha, the goddess of ages, see if the eye, is connected to the ancestors of wood fifteen. If there is mock, to an older one, let the sword pierce it, until it's clean. If there is mock, to a younger one, let the eye be burnt, and give the ashes, to the birds of heaven and to, the wild animals of the earth. Holy is Sarsha 16. If you judge someone by clothes, cursed are you, for you will be naked, and your eyes will be eaten, by crocodiles of the fourth death. Your soul will rot, in your body, and will drag you, into the rivers of dirt, where you will be rejected, and scorned until you can only live, by your tears 17. If you judge someone by occupation, cursed are you. If you judge someone by race, cursed are you. Your eye will rot, in your body, until you have worshipped the ancient gods, of the one you scorned 18. If you do this scorning, with someone else to strengthen your back, you are cursed twice. Then it's better, for you to get a hook, in your eye to hang for seven days, in the realms of the dead, where the birds of prey, eat from your meat. Fifth judgment, by the feather of the goddess Mot 19. She is the ruler of the heavens, and will watch you. She will give praise to the eyes of self-judgment, and the eyes who care for nature, and animals 20. If you scorn a weak one, you will be weaker. If you scorn a sick one, your health becomes of that person. If you scorn someone, because of some eons parents, cursed are you, for you will be an orphan. Mot cares for the soft of heart, the tender ones, and those of the holy rage 21. Sixth judgment, if you write scorn down on paper, you are cursed triple. You will not only lose your eye when you will appear for a Sirisra, but you will also lose your hand, and it will fall in the rivers of the dead, where the crocodiles of Sekmith, eat it. Seventh judgment, blessed are those, who can come through the judgment, on the eye without falling, whose backs are straight, led by the blue light 22. Blessed are those, whose griffin souls are caring, for the weak and the sick, to see their health, and strength 23. Blessed are those, who traveled the seas of weakness, and sickness to find the truths, and treasures of the chambers of Thoth's house. Blessed are those, who wrote with the hands of Thoth, while the Binu bird, was sitting on their shoulders, and the seven holy parrots of Ra, Amen 24. Their balloons will reach the eternal cities, where God will wipe away all, their tears 25. There where they can drink, from the golden wells of life, and from the golden eyes. There they will see the golden hand of Thoth. Amen Ru Amen. Blessed are those, who let their souls be cleansed, by the fire 26. The very a bird, will guide you to show you the threads, between the threads. Amen Thoth Amen, visitors of Amenti, those who glide through the last hall. To watch the portals of Mataros. The halls of the dead of dwarves 27. Blessed are those, who glide in to travel along, and over the rivers, with the orange balls. Let me take flight again to the cities of eternity 5. Talgaman Amen. Don't let me fall from high rocks, when I enter your mysteries. Let your warmth guide me, and comfort me, and let your birds do not take me away to burn me. Let me write on your jewels, my love to you. Let me be your scribe, in the name of Thoth Amen 6. Second Hall Lokogaman. Is this the road to Belkanov, O Almighty Lokogaman? I bow down in praise, without letting my lips flow seven. For it is righteousness you want to see. Let my words not be empty, but filled by deeds. 
Let my words flow, filled by fire, as balloons into your skies. Let me see your cloud ships, and eagle ships, and the birds working there. Do your birds sit high, eight? I come for your almighty thrones, to watch your graves, and coffins, to bring sacrifices to your urns, as words to the ancestors, let them be echoes warming them, until they are back nine. Let them rise from the deepest oceans, all these souls lost, worthy to be connected to us, as part of the ornament. O Holy One, of golden beards, give your servants their beards back to pierce deeper, into the halls of Amenti, and the halls of Mataros. I am yours ten. Third Hall Belkanov. Where the holy statues stand. Where our minds can be dense again, to reach for the cold conscience, to live for the poor eleven. To share all the riches, also to the realms of death. Let me glide deeper, and protect me against the flames of Osiris throne twelve. Let the snakes awaken me, to do the final decisions. Bell cannot let my soul glide, into your soul, where the warmth shivers thirteen. Let me take those, who are afraid deep, into my heart. For you are close to the depressed, and those who fear God, having a green heart, pumping inside fourteen. Bell cannot bless your scribe Anu, and your warrior Thothizu. Let the seven spirits of Osiris watch, over my soul, giving me a new spirit. Fourth Hall Elsifik him to el -Sifik. Glory to el -Sifik, who gave us soft food. Waters coming from the rocks, while you had the rod of the seven sons fifteen. Bulls were your friends, the donkeys. You guided them safely through your streets, giving them vanilla to raise higher, and fly on butterfly wings. You gave ornaments on their hearts. You crashed their orange balls, to bring them higher. You led your children by a striped rod. Your horns spoke thunder on high hills where your phoenixes took flight one six. Osiris Elsifik, praise to you my lord. Hide me in your seven judgments when you are pouring out your bowls of wrath. Give me thunder to rage with you and let my heart not be weak. Don't let me be a coward when you need me to speak. Amen Ru Amen. Elsifik watch the ornaments, and weigh them before your throne seventeen. Let your lamps guide me inside, to touch the deeper darknesses, where you hide. Let me be where you are, O Elsifik Osiris, and show me the seven rays of your spirit, your paths to the suns. Watch my moons, and weigh them before your thrones, and speak sacred words to test them. Let no unworthy food poison me, in the abysses of your streets eighteen. Let my paths be holy, to eat from your checked divine food. Fifth Hall, Amentira. Drink me and weigh me, measure me in your deepest caves, to give me access to fruitful grounds below the pits. Destroy my mirror, and give me yours. Amentira, seal my hearts, also the hearts of my liver, to store the treasures you gave me nineteen. I cherish them all these hearts, and the divine vegetables. Let your Elsifik rise, on the sixth day, to watch the balloons of ancient days. Let me steal the forgotten days, out of the halls of evil lords. Let me be an exorcist, and a sacred thief, to bring your treasures, and souls back to your temples. There, where the tigers roar. Amen Talgum, you are Matarosa Mentira, mirroring in the sky. You are the rippling tiger, tightening the threads between the threads twenty-three. Seventh Hall, Emineus Fire. You are the heart of Amentiandra, the heart of Sonder, where the octopus dwells. You have sent your unicorn to awaken us into this day. Take us to the golden fleeces to drink from the divine tea. Let our minds melt away if cold consciousness is your desire. Bring us to life and death, rippling as the forbidden fruit. Be our Adam, and our Eve, our serpent and our God, raise the halls of Amenti 24. Prepare us for the travelings over the seas, and rivers of fire, to meet the dragons of your heart, the octopus of your desire. Don't quench our Ophians, octopus sharks, but purify them like gold. Amenti Thoth, 
open your chambers to us, in Eminius fire. Show us the baskets of your snakes, the checked ones, and the powdered ones, and all those in fire 25. Give us the key to open thunder fire, the Eminius Shesmu. Serve your Lord, Eminius Ra, who lives in the sun. Give him from the divine food, watch his ornaments when they die. Come with his urns to the flames of Osiris, to test your eyes, and hearts, on the hands. Stand on his footprints, and watch yourself die to come alive again, on the third and the fifth day 26. Watch Eminius Horus, to please his publics, the divine audience. In this, you can pass the test, to get the holy Amentiru Eminius suite. The checked orange suit, to contact the divine Eminius lions, and wild cats of ancient days. Amen Talgaman Amen. Chapter 4 1 Ritual and sacraments to close the door of Eminius Amenti behind you. Lords of Amenti unite. Let me be the salt on the ground so that no one can steal this divine fire of Amenti Toth. It burns once and then it leaves forever until you leave forever with it. O holy Lord and doorkeeper of Amenti's rod, save your son, Lucifer, from the wrath of the ancient Hebrew Babylonian fallen, one who didn't want to pierce the halls of Amenti, and Materos too. Burn him in Eminius fire. Divine Amenti lions of Amenti Lucifer, you are free. Do not sin. Your hearts will be purified by the pure flames, and the sulfur of Eminius Sarsha, and her hearts Lamenti Sarsha three. Ruamenti will stand behind you. Eminius Lucifer, you are free now, you and your lions. Do not sin. Your hearts will be purified by the pure flames, and sulfur of Mary and Eminius swords. Eminius be closed. The sword and altar of Eminius is now in the hands of Eminius Sekmith. Ritual and prayer to not to be eaten by the crocodiles of Eminius Luca. Raise me, Father, make my heart pure, let your sacred crickets cover my eyes for. Let me not judge the dead, let them not judge me. Bring me out of this dark passage, and lead me into your circle, where I can eat from the solar dishes. Give me a helmet, brought by your eagles to have a light, in this deep darkness. Let me trust on cycles and circles, and also the symbols of your panthers, in the temple of 8-5. Let me escape into a new week. The week of your golden breads. Let me have my own altars to sacrifice myself instead of others. When I stand before the altars of your golden breads, then cover my eyes by your bristol bridles to have your golden neon lights. Lead me into your chambers, O Father, to see the coffins beneath the coffins, to touch your holy butterfly six. Make me drunk, lead the boat over your river, and bind the heads of crocodiles. Let them not eat my feet. Cover these by butterflies. Let them not eat my legs. Cover them by the shields of turtles. Let the heart eaters not eat my heart, but let the binu bird, your binu bird, lead me inside your caves. Make me thin enough to enter. Let me discover the lines between the lines to make them bend into solar lights. Show sure. you must first dive into his 66 coffins, 77 graves, and 88 cities 13, 66, 77, 88. Can I enter now? Yes you can, for you are a thinner, softer and harder man. Hymns of Ovius Erisra, I knight you, in the order of various birds, the souls of Izu Indians. Praise will be to Osiris throning in the halls of Amenti. Praise will be to Thoth, whose house is built on the death pillars of Elves 14. Osiris Ra, the dark and black elves, will be sent forth from your chest. O Osiris Ra, D-O-N-T fear, when you walk through the temples of Materos. They will initiate you deeper. Let their stings guide you. Osiris Ra, son of Ova, god of oaks. We bring in you, the Atu, the god of goats. Guide them over the hills, into eternal bliss 15. You have the rod for it. 
Asirasra, you will have the following illuminations and enlightenments while you are following the paths of sacred ancestors 16. You will adopt their gods. You will come beyond good and evil. You will come beyond winning and losing 17. When you have created a faith for the first time, it will strangle you. And the enemy of that faith will save you. Then you will create a second faith which will strangle you, and again the enemy of that faith will save you 18. Then you will create a third faith, and the same will happen, which lets you rise beyond good and evil. There you will find the pillar of the purple gnat, a most important pillar of the house of Thoth. The house of Thoth, built on seven pillars, the halls of dead elves, Avani 19. Welcome to the halls of Avani, the underworld of elves, where the elf gods of the dead dwell, to judge all the dead. Be in fear if you have sinned, for they don't have mercy. They pierce hearts, lungs and organs. There is no grace, only purifying rituals. There is no forgiving, only self-sacrifice, until the price is paid twenty. You must work, and change in their cocoons, or you will be damned to destruction, in fire sulfur salt acid. In the halls of dead, speaks the upper ovi of life and death, the sovereign prince of judgment and damnation, in Kurtnetar, you can be illuminated as a Sirisra, to see the misleadings of gods and upper binds, and the lower beings, with their spirits twenty-one. You can dwell in domination, if you will make the journey through Avani. Only then you will be set free from these misleadings. The rest will sink and drown. Prayer and ritual to not be drowned in the waters of Avani. Dangerous sirens live in the waters of Avani, drowning men and women, children and animals. Fight against sexual desires in these areas 22. Do not satisfy yourself by luxury. Do not eat too much fruits. And if you decide to eat fruits, mix them with potatoes and onions. Do not wear socks in your shoes. Do not cut your beard too often, and women, do not shave. Women, reach for the waters of Sherry, your guard in the waters of Avani. Invoke her by candlelight 23. Speak her name into the flame. Wear torn clothes and cover your head. Speak these words, Keb Celestial Waters, let me drink from you, and shine your four lights, in my ka, spirit. Keb Celestial Waters, bring me to Kurtnetar in Ruizu, into his lungs, where I can receive the golden heart, the golden nipple, on the emulous Shotau. I bow to Ra, and his Benu bird, his heart soul. Plant in me, the streets and skies of Kurtnetar, the balloons, where my act can rise, illuminated heart soul 24. Keb celestial waters, lock golden doors behind me, and destroy my enemies, the sirens. Amen Rathoth, Amen. Keb, you have the golden keys. Prayer sacraments, hymns and rituals to become a citizen, in Kurtnetar. O city of the dead, take me in, give me a house, and divine food. Bring the four fires to my ka, and let me dwell in my Akasirisizu, lead me to your islands. Second hall of Avani, Promethus Emily. Third hall of Avani, pillar of the purple gnat. Fourth hall of Avani, the egg of Kenkanar, guarded by Eric Zwarzin. Fifth hall of Avani, the egg of the tiger. Sixth Hall of Avani, Eminius Merizanta. Seventh Hall of Avani, Eminius Amen 29. Halls of Kalb. The Elves of Ra, holding the Staff of Ta, to measure the heart. If ITS, not thin enough the heart, will be eaten by Amitra, for then it has sinned, against the gods of Izu and Ruhanis. If ITS thin enough, it will be struck seven times by the thin strikes to prepare it to enter the halls of Kalb. Here the birds of the brown nipple live to bind the hearts by charity to raise them into the war machines again, 30. On these battlefields of the dead the hearts will become thinner and thinner to escape from war into war until they receive the golden nipple of fire on the emulous shot out. Halova, son of the birch, and the holly, for his ice creams set them free. They can move again, and talk again. 
They are now sons of Ova, sons of the sacred oak 31. By banana mixed with vanilla, the LION's face rises, the golden nipple, on the emulous shot out. They are now eating, from the brown food of the oak, in hairy fields, they live in hairy skies. The staff of Ta had struck them, and led them to small forests, in the deserts 32. While the black panthers care, for them. Their hearts have been struck, and now their livers, and lung cells will be struck, and even their other organs, so that they might escape, through the splits in caves. Their hearts have become light, as the feather of Mott, and they have eaten well, from her treasures 33. They have defeated the watchers of the thinness, and the evil lambs, to become blue fire, the face of Ammon. They have pierced the halls of Materos and of Oni. The seven halls of Kalb, are seven boats, to sail over the rivers of death, hell and lies. These rivers are seen as sacred riddles, as wilder animals they need to face. The halls of Kalb, are the insection halls of the dead themselves 34. Hall I Lependria, land of the wasps. Hall I I Perlosha, land of the winged insects. Hall I I I Brannan, land of the flies. Hall I V Lapsolvania, land of the spiders. Hall V Lal Megalm, land of the stinging insects. Hall V I Bil Megalm, land of the shining, or poisonous insects. Hall V I I Ant, ship 35. Can I get access to the halls of Kalb? You must be Ruizu. You must have visited the seven coffins of the furies, and you must have read the pyramid texts of the dwarves 36. I have done that. Can I have access to the halls of Kalb now? You must be initiated in at least seven pyramids of different Izu Indian tribes, and you must have defeated the evil chicken of Rad 37. I have done that can I have access now go in and take from the forbidden fruits of the halls of Kalb. Here Motizu will weigh your heart and liver to her sacred feather. If one of them is too heavy it will be eaten by Amatizu. Then you must go through the seven nights of fear where your lungs will be weighed to the sacred feather of Motizu and Sekmitizu. If it will be too heavy it will be eaten by Amatlapendria 38. Then your souls will be put to the sacred staff of Toizu, and when one of these souls will be too short, it will be eaten by Thothlapendria, 39. Then the souls tall enough have come to the coasts of Lapendria to come into the Rilapendria ship. On the seas of fear, they will be judged to see if their hearts and livers are guilty or not 40. They will be punished on the seas of Lependria, and taken away by dangerous animals, by birds and fishes, to see if they are worthy, or not, and to purify and test their souls. They will get seven thorns, in their flesh. If you have the winged Emineus heart, with the seven twinsels in it, then you have access, to the pyramids of Bristol Brival, the red golden pyramid of Zosinis and Vu, the green golden pyramid, of Zosinis and Vu I I, the blue golden pyramid, of Ziamonra, pyramid of the golden pear, where the tombs are of, for Zosinis and Vu Osiris, and of Zosinis and Vu 45. Spells for opening the pyramids of Brannan, O Osiris, mighty Ra, open the pyramids of Brannan. Show me the names, and let black doves cover them by their wings. Let your holy and sacred hands take me in, and initiate me. Amen Ru Amen. King of Brannan, give me the keys to your home 46. I bow to your holy sands. Give me Jericho, and Sodom, and let me destroy the evil snakes by the red stripes. P-H-A-R-A-O-S, of Brannan rise up to give me the rods, to destroy the evil donkeys, holding away the sweetness. Let me destroy the unholy goats, who guard the gates of Talnus 47. Give me the hoofs of goats, to let me rise. Let me rise from the seven kettles of the goats. Let me be ashes from the ashes, smoke from the smoke, as your holy servant, lead me to eternal paths. O Osiris, mighty Ra, give us our, K-H-U-S, our eternal souls. Let the Ku birds guide us, into the eternal pastures of Brannan 48. Here is where our home is, here is where our hearts are. 
O pyramids of Brannan, show us the holy feathers of Mott, and let them rise in our hearts. Let truth guide us, Amen Mott, Amen, let off seal our foreheads by your mighty lights. Bring us to Draminia, the roots of life. Show us the depths of Amenti, in Brannan and Draminia. Let Jericho and Sodom rise 49. We ask you to lay your rods on our foreheads, and to bring your feathers inside of us. Lead us to eternal paths, O Holy and Sacred One, and give us your winged two hearts. Bless Brannan and Brominia, bless Merizanta, Lord of the Insects, and bless the White Golden Hand, the Lord of the Flies. Bless our King, and Emperor of Brannan, and give us access to the rivers that lead into your pyramids, and tombs fifty. Let us dwell in your chambers forever, to read their texts, and to receive our golden coot winds. O eternal soul, rise and lead us to Shesmu, the heart and sword of Osiris. Bring us to Horus, his holy striped tongue. Amen Toth, Amen. Give us the heart of Ra, lead us through the sunsets of Brannan, through ITS halls, 51. Amen Tiru, Amen. Tum, feeder of all KAS, feed us, and bring our KAS, into the rays of Amenti light. Tum, tamer of our KHUS, let them come forward as twin agles, and twin snakes 52. Let them possess and transform our BAS. Brannan bring the feathers of Mott, in our lungs, and eyes, so that the red stripes, can come over her enemies 53. Let her make Jericho rise. Let her rebuild ITS walls. Bless her walls, bless her. Amen Ru Amen 54. Bless the lights of Brannan, and bring our hearts to the candlesticks of Toth, to show if there is any darkness in our hearts. If our hearts are ENT light, and bright enough, then let Amit eat it. Bring the candlesticks of Toth in our BAS, KAS, AKHS, and KHUS, to let them enter the sacred Sahu. Give me the Sahu of Ra, of Osiris and Shesmu, of Sekmith, Amon and Aton, of Isis, Tim and Nun 55. I come to the white golden pyramid, of the winged snake of Brannan, to bless all four openings. I enter through west, and follow the paths of the sunsets. Let the seven sacred sunsets guard my mouth, and guide my lungs 56. Brannan is the jaw, the ashes from the ashes, where the power to speak dwells, and the power of silence. Here silver striped roads, tigers lead the deceased one, to the land of the leprechaun 57. Leprechaun halls of the dead, curses minds. And she will give birth by her navel, and by her shoulders, while her breasts bring forth the white golden chocolate. Amen to Amen. And these bison have traveled from sun to sun, from heat to heat, through deserts of the nights, to watch the dark flames. This is the land of the bison. Amen to Amen 63. They have defeated the evil goats, and made armors of their bones. They are searching for the brown gold. They have made houses, in their hearts, like bees in their nests, assimilating the lights of the sun 64. They have defeated the killer pigs of the light, and have traveled to the darkest suns, rising into Eminius fire. They have rode the evil chicken, without falling into temptation. They are free of sin. Amen to Amen. And these men, they give birth by hyperventilation and epilepsy. 64. O oh, those who have reached the boat of Ova, to reach for Azu Egypt, welcome. For you are here the cakes of liberty, O oh, pilgrims. Pilgrims of a lost son, smile again with the smiles of Osiris. O oh, those who have reached the boat of Ova, to reach for Azu Egypt, welcome. O oh, those who have died the fourth death, come to the underworld of Azu 65. Here the land is soothing, here the lies are riddles of truth, here the hairs are burning like loose ciphers, and here the hairy are in fight, against the bald. It's in the songs of Monk Amin. The hairy against the bald, making new religions, in Carbon Smiles 66. Holy to those of the oaks, holy to those of the hollies, and the white trees. 
holy to the one entering the boat of Ova to sail the green rivers to the emerald sun 67. They will bow down and freeze their heads after the strikes of chocolate. They will walk the cold roads to Benz, the land of trees. They will rise into the comics to freeze their hearts into the books of Perlosha 68. Perlosha again to eat from the purple strawberry and the purple chocolate in arms of emerald, the eyes will be opened. Perlosha again under M-O-T-H-E-R-S breast, I-T-S, easy to agree 69. There are teeth in these lips, teeth in these lips, while the glues fall and hide. They take you away to seven grave.